tonight, 11-year-old pilot Victoria Van Meter. Kenny Logan. Lois and Clark, Dean K. Nightly News Update. And Tom Scott and the Hollywood Express. Now here he is, Chevy Chase. Boy, uh, always makes me feel good to open that way. You know why? Because I got nothing else to do. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I had a little bronchitis. <clears throat> you know, normally uh, this is the time of the show when I do a little comedy piece, unlike that. Uh, but last night, uh, we found out we could have a very special guest on the show tonight. Nobody else is getting her. I was so excited, I decided to model uh, exotic lingerie for you another time. And instead, uh, let's meet this exceptional young lady. She just flew in yesterday, and that doesn't sound all that remarkable, but it is. At 11, she's the youngest girl to make a transcontinental solo flight. Let's, uh, let's, take, let's take a look at our landing first. Now, what you're seeing is Victoria landing yesterday in San Diego. There's a lot of uh, press there to meet her, and uh, we're, obviously she ran out of gas. But we're very excited she came to the show today. So please welcome Victoria Van Meter. <laughs> Well, well, congratulations. Thanks. How does it feel to be on a big show like mine? Pretty good. <laughs> yeah? yeah? That, 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 that was a great thing you did. Uh, did you fly the whole way yourself? Right. Uh, I flew the whole way, and the instructor was just in the plane because you have to have one until you're 16. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. he, uh, was he sleeping? Or, I mean, did you, were you allowed to sleep at all? Um, well, actually, uh, every three hours or so, I take like a five-minute break, but I was doing all the flying, and... He was supposed to be awake. He couldn't go to sleep. He had to be alert in case anything went wrong. Uh huh. Nothing did though. No. And it's a single prop plane. Right. Single engine. So. Single engine. Yeah. Yeah. Cessna 172, and it fits four people. Wow. You must be very proud. Well, I'm excited. Are you going to get to meet the president? And... Uh. Well, I'm not sure about that yet. Uh. But an airport manager said it's not long until you get an invitation like that. So. That's right. That's right. I know that. Uh, I just flew in the other day, and he called me. He said, <laughs> I to come in. But your flight uh, started in Maine, right, um, one uh, of the most beautiful states in the Union. Augusta, and Maine, and uh, I flew from there to uh, Harrisburg at lunch with Senator Robbins. and Pennsylvania. Right, yeah. and they declared it Vicki Van Meter Day and Vicki Van Meter Week. <laughs> and, <laughs> Wonderful. And so um, that was my, the same day of my aunt's birthday. And she just had a baby, so. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> so you have a cousin. Uh, right, his name's Brian. His name's Brian. Right. You know what, what he weighed, or you uh, too busy, I think? <laughs> uh, eight and a half pounds, so. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. Well, what exactly was the record that you broke? I mean, um, I broke three. Uh, the youngest female pilot to ever do something. Actually, there was no, uh, <laughs> there, there was. I don't think you have that record, but, uh. <laughs> Go ahead, there, go ahead. Was no rec there was no record of any girl that, that ever flew. So um, uh, I just set one, and then the first east to west, um, and the furthest distance. Oh, that's great. <laughs> now, have you, have, you ever, uh, have you ever flown uh, long distances before? Is this the first time? Uh, well, I uh, flew to my sister's graduation in Winston-Salem, North Carolina at the School of the Performing Arts. Uh, it's a special art school that she got picked out of 20 people of the whole nation to go there. So. Very good. Uh, I, I know that you must have uh, been a little surprised by the time you hit the Rockies, huh? A little bit of different air there? Or? Uh, yeah, it was getting uh, pretty bumpy in the plane. We were bouncing 200 feet, you know, and one thing. So uh, uh, even pilots said that they wouldn't have um, flown, you know, in that kind of weather. So. 
I was just I just had the fly through because I was setting the record, so it got me a little sick, but I tried not to think of that. How how sick? I mean, do you actually? <laughs> You, you didn't throw up or anything, just a little queasy? Uh, you did throw up. <laughs> well, maybe once, but I, uh, I still was at the controls. So. You were at the controls, so right. it was just a question of turning your head to the right and the cloak. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> pretty much. And your instructor got it all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, well, what made you decide to, to be a pilot at such a young age? Well, I hopefully want to work for NASA someday, but I really never thought about flying. We just drove up to the airport because they were adding on a new terminal building. And so uh, there was a sign-up sheet for flyers, and my dad asked me if I wanted to go, and so he signed me up. So then I went to places like Erie and Pittsburgh, and then I flew to my sister's graduation. And after that, we knew I could handle flying across the country. So we decided to do this. Great. Great. Well, let me ask you just a couple of other questions that I think are important. Um, of the films that I've made, uh, <laughs> let's see, do you like Caddyshack? Uh, well, I was you probably to haven't think, seen that one yet. I was trying to think of the, the name of it. Um, it was a Christmas one. And, uh, it Funny was, Farm. <laughs> Is that it? Or Christmas uh, Vacation? The Christmas, uh, it was, you were setting up a Christmas tree and the whole family was there and yeah. there was a squirrel and, <laughs> yeah, that's, and a Christmas tree. That's right. That's right. We have prepared a little gift bag for you. It's kind of heavy. <laughs> um, and actually, my daughter thought of, of giving you this. My daughters, uh, they have some things for you. I'd like you to see. You get a little, uh, this is for your schoolwork, which I know you're going to have to catch up on. Yeah. And uh, let me see here. This is a, uh, a stamp head, just in case you want to stamp somebody's head. And of course, your little aviation thing. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, isn't that sweet? Yeah. I'll put this in here. Of course, there are a couple of other things. I don't understand this one. It's a, a turkey, but... Uh, you know, I, I, I do have a five-year-old, so she <laughs> milk too. And then in here we have, uh, just in case you want to get sick on the way back. Chubby Chase Show hat. All right. Okay. Hey, listen, thanks a lot for coming to our show. I'm, I'm very proud of you. I'm sure your parents are proud. Okay. And uh, I'll get this bag to you later as soon as somebody can lift okay. it. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, my town made me the ambassador of their town, and they, they gave me a few gifts to give to each city, and I was going to give you a mug, but I ran out. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, don't worry about it. So That's all I right. I got you a pen, a oh. pen. Oh, thank you very okay. much. And thanks for coming. <laughs> thank all of you for being here. We've got a great show tonight. Kenny Lobbins is here. and From the new television series, Lois and Clark, actor Dean Kane. So stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>